Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. You must start dressing as we are breeds. Because that is who you are. That is your heritage. <clears throat> uh, Father, I've always thought that royal dressing is for royal occasions. Not something you wear all the time. Royal regalia. It's a symbol of who you are. It depicts reality. Mama, oh, Mama Cham, hmm? are you back? Yes, I'm back. How was your sales today? Sales was very good. As you can see, I have just two pieces left. Mm. <laughs> It is not really a bad market. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they go and drop it inside and eat your food. Ah, oh, my food. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Mama, I'll be going to see my friend later today. Mm. Yes, no problem. But come back early. I will. Okay. Bye. 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 You are grown now. It is time you begin to think of getting married so that you can replace me when I am dead. Father, there is a story you said you want to tell us. I did not just become king. I broke odds to get to where I am. And you people must sustain it. You must retain it. <clears throat> Father, I hope you will not deny me the throne if I fail to present a woman I would marry to you soon. Let me tell you a story. When I saw that I am rich, I bought power and became the king of Umabala. You must sustain this throne. Get married. Bear children. and secure the posterity of our family. Mamba, why not tell father about the beautiful girl you said you love so much? I'm not proposed to her But she will accept if you propose to her. You are still saying the same thing. You must not hesitate to bring her to me. If she pleases me, I will give my blessing. And both of you will enjoy my empire when I am gone. Is that it? The urgency with which you called me created ripples of enthusiasm. I hope there's no problem. I love you. I love you so much. 
I wish you can see my heart to see how much I love you. And I love you too. I love you with everything in me. You make me feel like a complete woman. <laughs> I want to show you something. Attention. <laughs> Mama, you need to see this man I'm talking about. He is a very, very nice man. He's not only nice, he's handsome and he's rich. <laughs> anyway, Mama, please, can you tell me how you met this young man that you're talking about? I met him on a fateful Wednesday. you want 15 naira. okay select the one where you want that one day okay for you yes uh -huh. thank you eh i can for the hot after me black hole. i don't get black manager You're fine. Um, it, it's my mother. She, she's not feeling too well. If, if I don't finish selling this Akamo, I cannot buy her medicine. How, how much Akamo do you want? Can 10,000 naira uh, help you? Get that drug. Ah, the two of us? All right. Take, take this. Ah, God bless you, sir. It's okay, God bless you. God it's bless okay. you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Just get that drug. Thank please. you. Mama, you ask so much questions. And I noticed you didn't take your drugs. Why? Okay. I'll help you and I'll give you. Give it to you. Oh, so you've been sleeping since? Hmm? Yes. Oh, 
Mama, mba, mba. Don't throw up, sorry. 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 Are you okay? Okay, just rest for some time, okay? Let me help you. Take you to the hospital. Eh? No, sorry. Sorry. Let me, let me, let me go. What's wrong? Uh, her fever got worse this morning. I, I have to take her to a health center. Health, uh, don't worry. It's better we take her to a hospital in town. No, no, no. no. We, we, we don't have money. I don't, don't worry about the money. I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Don't, don't worry.
told you. I, I told you that we shouldn't have taken her to that hospital, but you refused. Now the doctor is asking for 75,000 naira deposits just to run a test. Maybe are we supposed to get that kind of money from? You worry too much. Leave that to me. What do you mean I should leave that to you? Are you listening to me? We are talking about money here. How are we going to raise that kind of money? And I said you should leave it to me. I took her there. Yeah, don't bother yourself. Most important thing right now, get her food to eat. I'll take care of the money. Okay? Yeah. Can you just make food for your mother to eat so we can go? Are, are you sure she'll be fine? She'll be fine. Trust me. Get her food. I'm not sure my mother would have survived this if you were not here. You deserve nothing but the best. I even wish I can do more. I don't know what to do to appreciate you. To appreciate your kindness. I'll tell you, just give me the opportunity to always be around you and see you whenever I wish to and be able to put a smile on your face. That's all you can do to appreciate. A minute. Mm. Are you in any way talking about that uh, that young man from Omoabale? Uh, Mama, you know him. He's the same person I'm talking about, Mama. He is. He's everything. He's he's so nice. He's he's kind, and I think about him every time. He's hey. always in. Hello, man. Mama, what is it? What is it? Did I say anything wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? What is it? What did I? Did I say something? Mama, talk to me now. What is it? What is the problem? Mama, Biko, Biko. Oh, don't start. What is it? Eh? I have never disobeyed you all my life, and I don't want to start now. I love Mwapuaju, and I must marry him, Mama then you must get ready to regret it all your life. You don't need them. They are not what you think they are. Mama, 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 please don't be ridiculous. What are you even saying? I don't think you're understanding me. The people I'm talking about are the royals, Mama. The royals. And we are just mere commoners. They should be the one considering if to have anything to do with me or not. Mama, Biko. Biko. Mwabuadu has accepted me with my low class. Don't reject him, Mama. I must marry him. Don't say I did not warn you. Well, Mama, I have heard your warning. And I must marry Wabwaju. And that is fine now. What is this? Hi.
I understand how it feels. Being in love with a man you cannot marry. I will tell you a story. If you hear my story, you will decide whether you will marry my wife or not. 20 years ago, Wake up late these days. Mama, I just feel very weak and tired. You called me. Yes. Sit down. My daughter. Mama. What have you been able to decide concerning Mama Joe's marriage proposal? You will not marry that man. He is not good for you. And their family is not good for you. Mama, I don't like this thing you're saying. I don't like it at all. I've told you before, I love him. I love him. What do you want me to do? I have told you, you need to find another man. Any belief family is everything. Okay, Mama, I've heard you. If leaving Wabwaju will make you happy, then it's fine. I'll look for another man who will love me. That's my daughter. Hey! Daughter! Mom! Ebube, huh? have you seen your payroll this month? Um, no. Hey, Chibi Wum, you see? Hi! Ebube, Mama, Ebube, Ebube, tell me, who got you pregnant? Please tell me. Mama, Mama, I'm not pregnant now. I'm not, I'm not pregnant. You, you know, sometimes these days they used to shift. I, I'm not pregnant. I, I'll still see my period. Today is 29th, and you are still expecting to see your period up yeah? here. Hey, you mom, who's left with you? Tell me. Talk now. Uh -huh. Mama, it's... 
It's it's one boy. Now I'm going to be away. Timo. As a matter of fact, my brother Mobadju loves your daughter so much. And she's not getting married to my father or my mother or anybody else. It's my brother. And I promise he will take care of her. Mama, the most important thing now is to get yourself better. Be fine and stop getting yourself worked up over this issue. Okay, please. Mama. Mama. Mama, you'll be fine. And I'll also be fine. Mama, remember you've always wanted me to give you a grandchild. A legitimate grandchild. Not a bastard. And this this desire can only be granted if if I'm within the Nebeli family circle. Exactly. Exactly, Mama. Please. Just stop crying, please. Go down here. Mama. I must stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> mama, mama, stop, stop, stop crying. Mama, stop crying. Please stop, stop crying, mama. It's okay. It's okay. You are my sister, and I must tell you the truth. No matter your grievances with Enabelis family. You can't afford to allow your daughter give birth to a bastard. Maybe you should consider the stigma to bring upon your daughter. And it will endanger the life of your unborn child. That man caused me a lot of pains. And I found it difficult to forgive him. But, but your daughter's happiness is paramount here. They love themselves. And that should be of great importance and concern to you. Nobody in Amoji will marry your daughter if they know that she gives birth at home. Allow the two lovers to be together and they enjoy the bounties of being a mother-in-law to the prince. Only, please. Oh, I have heard you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Oh, huh? at least you should be happy that the prince is coming for your daughter. Eh? Imagine yourself being in a royal attire. Who's on? Yes, father. When I told your elder brother, Prince Nwa Baju, that the kitchen belongs to the women's league, I wasn't saying that men doesn't cook. I was only indirectly telling him to get married. He needs to. Father, but Nwa Baju has confirmed to you that he has a girl he's seen. I think he's waiting for the right time to officially present her to you, Father. He should not waste time. He shouldn't hesitate to bring her to me. Because seeing her will gladden my heart and I will immediately give the blessing. <laughs> Alright, Father. I will tell him immediately. Good. Father, you need to see this lady. She's very, very beautiful, Father. Do you I... like her? I will not hesitate to give the blessing. And I will make sure he brings her before you tomorrow. That's my son. <laughs> you know, promise. there's nothing that gladdens a father when he sees his grandchild. Exactly. When it gets to my turn, father, I won't hesitate to bring my own to you. Please do not. <laughs> <laughs> 
husband of that. How dare you bring a swine from a don't here to destroy our family? What happens to Colette? Mother, I don't understand. Why are you sounding this way? It's not by force. I, I, don't, I don't love Colette. I don't feel anything for her. You see, Colette, you must marry her. Uh, that girl you brought here is not your class. Please. Excuse me. What was the meaning of that attitude you displayed before our guest? Guest? Insofar as I'm concerned, that girl is a gold digger. A commoner my son picked from the gutters. She's not good for him. You do not choose for a grown man what is good. Especially when it comes to love. What happens to Colette? That girl is of a better status to my son than that thing. That thing is carrying my child. Father, I know you won't allow a member of this royal family to be treated like a bastard. Talk to me, son. Do you know what you're saying? Are you serious about it? Are you sure? That girl is three weeks pregnant for my baju. What? And in 37 weeks' time, father, she will be delivered of a baby. A royal seed. Your grandchild. Honestly speaking. My daughter, I don't know what to do. My hands are tied. Mother, I don't know what to do either. What about you promised me that it would never leave me? Right now, I, I, I don't even know what's going on. Don't worry, my dear. Hmm? I will make sure this place becomes miserable for that good digger. And you will be readmitted to your rightful position. Okay. Please, mother. I'm counting on you. You, you know how much I love the prince. Don't worry, okay? He will be yours. I assure you that. I'll make sure that come on now. Does not get close to my son again. She can't be my daughter anymore. See, Ebube, I've told you countless times to forget about my mother. She's just feeling overprotective about my brother, which is normal. The most important thing is. My brother loves you so much. Every member of my family loves you. And I love him too. But I can't just imagine not being in good terms with my mother-in-law. I mean, I, I've always dreamt of being very happy with my mother-in-law. But that cannot even happen because your mother does not like me. But my brother loves you. Prince Wambaju loves you. My brother loves you. I can say it countless times because I'm very sure. I'm convinced that my brother loves you. My father loves you. Every member of the royal family loves you. Hell, I love you too. If you become my sister-in-law tomorrow, I will love you. Yes. See, if you really have the interest of this baby at heart, marry my brother. Marry my brother and make this child legitimate. I know why I'm telling you this. Oh. Mama. Get in there. I'm fine, are you? I'm very fine. I came to see you. Yes. Don't tell me you're in support of your brother leaving me after showcasing me to the whole world that he's going to marry me. 
Whatever arrangement you had with my brother is cancelled. Yes. Let me tell you, my brother is in love with another woman and he will get married to her. So, this is the door. Choose it and never come back. Well, I refuse to allow my boy to leave me for that low class village. I mean, what are you even talking about? You're not Prince Mabuaju is not leaving you. The prince has already left you. And like I said before, use the door and don't come back again. Sorry. There's four more things. Find something reasonable to do with your life. Find something reasonable to do with my life. Indeed. Thank you, my queen. You're welcome. Of a truth, there's a kind of beauty fitting for a prince. Exactly. Exactly. My son made the right choice. Hmm. Thank you very much, mother. But this is a good day. Prince Mabuajo's fiance. Hmm. The same girl he picked from the dungeon. Alright, you're welcome. Thank you, my queen. to watch a station that will make myself and my child relaxed. Are you out of your senses? Put back that station now! I say you should put back that station. I did this to you, not minding your condition. I'm tired. I don't know what I have done to your mother. She's just so heartless. I, I, I don't know what I did to her and th th this thing she did to me now. Just because I told her that I wanted to watch TV, I changed the station. It's not like she was even watching the TV. That's she all. wasn't. That's all. It's okay, my love. Just... Don't mind her, eh? Sorry. Sorry. Don't, sorry. Sorry. Just don't mind her. Just, just forget her. Don't mind her. I should not mind her. Uh -huh. Is that all you have to say? I right, don't. Don't worry. Don't worry. That is not all. I just started with that. I'm go. You see what will happen. Just watch. I can't take this nonsense. <laughs>
I have told you everything you will buy. Don't buy frozen meat. Okay, buy fresh meat. Do you understand? Yes, ma. You can go. Mother, I demand to know why you, you beat up my wife. Knowing fully well that she's pregnant. She didn't tell you what happened. What happened? What impudence? What, what impudence are you talking about? What, what is impudence? You have a big TV set in your room. Why can't you watch that one? Why, why are you disturbing my wife? What about you? You have to talk to me, your mother, with respect. Your wife, Ebube, is a thorn on the flesh of everyone in this palace. And you need to call her to order. Let her be. She's my wife. If she's a thorn in the flesh, it's my business. Let her tear my flesh. She's not tearing your own. Let her, my wife be. What is it? She's my wife, not yours. Every time you go and tell me my wife, she's carrying my child, though. I won't take it from anybody. Let her be. Let her tear my flesh. Allow her, please. Can you imagine? I've always known that that Ebube is a concierge of trouble. And she needs to be tamed. Oh, rubbish. Anyway, she has not seen the other side of me in this palace. you think you're doing? Certainly you're not blind. I'm trying to cook something for myself and my unborn child. So you have to wait until I'm done before you start cooking. Really? Hey, baby. Why are you so troublesome? Why? You must be very stupid to ask me such question. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're yet to be married and you're here fighting me over my own kitchen. Are you serious? Your kitchen? Did I hear you say your kitchen? Did your useless poor father build a kitchen like this? Huh? Did he? Well, point of correction, princess. You see where you're standing? This kitchen is my husband's inheritance. You should be in your husband's house fighting over his kitchen. How are you even supposed to get married when you are cursed? What? Don't care. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. Be fine. Okay. No, I'm, not, I'm not feeling well at all. I'm just feeling pains all over my body. Pains? I don't know. I don't know what I have done to your mother. I don't know what wrong I have done to her. She almost ran me over today with the car. She almost killed her baby. What? Is it true? Is that how it happened? Huh? Calm down. Calm down. What happened? It's a, it's a long story. I will explain. Just calm down. Calm down. Uh, please, calm please. Down. You people should just tell her. I don't want her anywhere around me. Let her stay away from me. I don't want to see her. I don't want her anywhere around me. I don't want to see her around me. Uh, it, it's okay. Baby. I don't want her around me. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. I'll, I'll handle her. Oh? It's okay. It's okay. Please, sorry. Sorry. Calm down, madam. Calm down. We will take care of you. Please. <laughs> Mother, how did it go? That riffraff, that Miss Grant, wants to bring enmity between me and my son. She's doing everything to turn this out away from us, and that I will take. I will take it. Mother, she will not succeed. I promise you that. Just pull yourself together, okay? Imagine that gold digger. That commoner! <sighs> I know, mother. Just calm down and sit down. That girl? I will show her what stuff I'm made of. I know, mother. 
But for now, just relax yourself. We will handle it. You know I love you very much. And you know how much I love your family. But I don't know what I have done to your mother. I don't know what I have done to her. I, I, I took her like my own mom. Just, just because I asked her to give me the key to the car that I, that I wanted to come to the hospital for checkup for our own son. Just that. Just that. She almost ran me over, <laughs> almost killing the next king of Umokbaleri Kingdom. Never. Eh? What that have I will, done? That will never happen. Hmm? It will never happen. Though. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing will happen to our child. Huh? Don't worry about my mother. I'll take care of her. Okay? It's all right. It's all right. The doctor will soon be here. I love her. Hmm? You're sure your family will not ask you to take another woman? Hmm. That will never happen. Never ever happen. Huh? Don't worry about that. It will never happen. I'm just scared, though. I'm just scared. Sold me. You almost killed me. You almost killed me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Without mixing words, your wife has torn this family apart. From the day she set her foot in this family till now, it's been one problem or the other. The anxiety is affecting all of us in this palace. Excuse me. Mom, excuse me. What are you saying? Mom, you surprised me. So after all you did to my wife, I mean, because of you, she almost lost my unborn child. Your grandchild, and you're sitting here telling me that she's the cause of all the problems in the palace. Come on! Take it easy, my brother. Don't be sentimental about this issue we are discussing as a family. What are you telling me? What, what are we with the family? How can you be telling me about family when, when you people are not treating me like, like you, I'm part of the family? When you're busy disrespecting my wife? I mean, if she was allowed to use the car, she wouldn't have fallen. That fall could have damaged her womb, and if that happened, that means I would lose my unborn child. And you're sitting here telling me about family. Let me, leave me alone, my friend. My son, I never wanted to say anything about this issue. But as it stands now, you need to know my mind. I regretted the very day I supported your marriage to that girl. But a good wife builds a home. But a bad woman destroys it. She tears it apart. Your wife has never brought peace to this household, this royal household. I look at you. You are gradually becoming a vegetable in the name of love. Stand on your feet. Stand and build your home. This is all I can see now. My next word will be action. alone. I will make sure things don't get out of hand. Thank you. I promise you. My son, we are your family. 
and we love you so much. April is not good for you. Mother, you don't love her. You've never loved her. You've always detested her and everything about her. But we have always loved what makes you happy. But Ibube is not good enough for you. She's tearing this family apart. Ibube is my wife. And I love her. is complaining about your lifestyle. The way you nag and the way you make trouble out of trivial issues. You don't have to blame me. I'm pregnant. Sometimes I get mood swings. Spare me that. You are not the only pregnant woman in the world. See, your own is becoming quite uncontrollable. And my father is not finding it funny. It is better you change your ways or you will have my father to contend with. I am not contending with anybody. I am married to Prince Mwabaju, not your father. Really? Then get ready to be thrown outside this house. I'm, well, I might as well kill myself and kill the unborn child. What? See, for the sake of the unborn child, uh, please, don't do that, okay? Uh-huh. You're not even concerned about me. That is to say, probably when I have this child, you will send me to my father's house. I know you all hate me. I know everybody hates me. I'm only here as a baby-making machine. No. No. No, it's it now. It has, it has, no, 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 no. We love you. you. You are just as special as the child. Okay, try and understand me. I'm trying to, to correct an impression. Okay? Father loves you, my brother loves you, everybody loves you, we love you, okay? husband and my king I've come to apologize for everything that has been happening I I, I can't even explain what came over me I, I, I think it's my condition I, I'm very sorry my king I am not angry with you I am only concerned about your recalcitrant attitude. That attitude is causing problem, serious problem for the royal family. My king, I'm sorry. I promise it will never happen again. Never. I, in fact, I will turn a new leaf and be the epopee you used to know. And to send home my repentance, I, I'll start cooking for the royal family starting from today. Please. Please, my king. I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay.
it is time you take back what rightly belongs to you. No need to chicken out like a helpless girl. My queen, I'm not a coward. But when a man tells you to your face that he is done with whatever relationship he's having with you and that he does not want to have anything to do with you whatsoever again. I don't know. But besides, he is married now. That is your problem. You have no push. You are too lackadaisical. Go for what belongs to you. The more he remembers how good both of you were before he got married to that lunatic of a gold digger. You're a woman, my dear. Go for what you want. And make sure you get it. Don't give up. Do all it takes, my dear. Setting you testify to that real soul. <laughs> you look beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear. I'll see you pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, I am surprised by her sudden change. She even cleaned the whole sitting room yesterday. Mother, I don't know what is going on. Mm. Even the Bible said in Proverbs 24 21, meddle not with them that are given to change, for their calamity shall arise suddenly. <laughs> Anyways, let's just keep our fingers crossed and watch her and her change. Okay. I wonder what is delaying Colette. Colette? Yes. Colette is coming. So, uh, food is ready. Um, I still got some. No, just um, Well, um, my king, 
this pepper soup was actually prepared by me, especially for you, my king. It's very nice. I'm sure you like it. <laughs> my daughter. My king. I am so happy for the transformation. Thank you. I believe and know that from now on, our family will return to the peace we used to know. I agree with you, Father. But I'm not happy because Mother is not saying anything. If I'm not happy, I won't be sitting here to eat with you all. Knowing full well I should be food. Um, well, this is my little way of showing how remorseful I am. And I promise to get better. My queen, I'm truly sorry. Please. It's okay. I dare no call you again. Thank you, my queen. Well, that's been said. Um, I think it's time for us to eat. So, who do I serve first? Um, I'll go, my king. <laughs> mm. so. Yes, ma. Um, it's a really long story, my queen. Uh, some hoodlums invaded my neighborhood and they robbed one house after the other. I'm, I'm really scared right now. And I just need somewhere to stay for a while. That's if you don't mind. Yeah. Sorry about that. Get inside. Thank you, my queen. Your Majesty didn't say anything. Oh. Welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Are you sure that kind of thing is believable? Of course it is. The hoodlums are everywhere. And I don't think she would be lying. It's so sad. Hmm. Try and understand me, Ebuke. You can't leave. Don't take such decision. Look at your condition. If not for anything, because of your condition, please. I can't continue to stay here. I can't. Your mother doesn't like me. It, it just feels like I'm being trapped. I'm being punished. My stay here has been miserable. I'm going back to my mother's house until I give birth to my child. They want to kill my child for me. I can't continue to stay here. That's the point. That's the problem. You don't get it. You're married to my brother. You're married to Prince Mabaju. You don't belong there in the street. You belong here. This is where you belong. There is nothing else you will say that will change my mind. I'm going in there. I'm picking my things and I'm leaving this place. No, you can't. Everybody. Should be done, no. Hey, Bube! Hey, Bube! Hey, Bube! Hey, Mom, you seem so pretty. Don't say that. Don't say oh. that. Oh. When she was my age. Excuse me, I'm pretty. Anyway, run to the floor like a brother. Oh, like wow. Don't <laughs> <laughs> see that. <laughs> oh, blue looks so good on you. Exactly, and no blue for royalty. Oh, wow. and I'm so royalty. <laughs> I can see that. Oh my god, yes, yeah, she's really nice. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I told you that she cannot withstand my beat. She's actually really liver. I admit she'll never come back to this place. Oh, that's good. We against the bad rubbish. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's go back to our before we are rudely interrupted by those. Where's my wife? 
She had it for the day we are back. What's a coward? Today, my prince, how do you do? And what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh. Leave this palace. Can you hear me? Leave this palace. I must say it again. Oh. What? Temper. Who don't mind him? I'm in charge here. And I'll make sure everything works perfectly fine. Please, let's That's the blue thing you should do tomorrow. Blue. Okay, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I've come to take what rightfully belongs to me. <clears throat> oh, Colet, you are just the bloody schema. <laughs> oh, this should have been my room from the onset. <clears throat> What do they have here? <sighs> oh, my friend. Oh, you're going to be mine tonight. <laughs> oh, my friend. This is original Burberry. I'm sure the prince bought that as perfume because that chips Kate, <laughs> she has no idea what a good perfume looks like. Except Sosorobia, <laughs> village munchkin. This is a good one, very good one. Go to bed. The way you handled me last night, wow. It shows you've been sex stopped and you really miss Colette's styles. I enjoyed it. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, come on, take it easy, take it easy, baby. Take it easy, okay? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, come on. Show some gratitude. I said, what are you doing in my room? On my bed? Oh, anyway, my prince, I really had an amazing time yesterday and I loved every bit of what we did. I enjoyed you. Get out of my room. I said, get out of my room right now. Okay, okay. I walked in here. I said, get out. Don't waste my time. Get out. Oh. I enjoyed it. You were amazing as always. Oh, my prince, I love you too. Expect. Get out. Get out. I told you you would succeed. My queen. The prince. Mm. The prince is a tiger. <laughs> my queen. You needed to be there to see. Mm. Oh. Did I say you needed to be there? No, you couldn't have been there. No. But <laughs> you pounced on me like someone who's been stabbed for a very, very long time. Mm. And me? Mm. I just laid down there enjoying and savoying every bit of the moment it was nice. <laughs> that was a master stroke. You could say that again. Mm. <laughs> it was fun. I trust my son. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind her. She's just fighting a lost battle. With the way I saw my son drunk last night, I knew you were one step ahead of her. Did you say one step? <laughs> no, ma'am. Because I did 500 steps ahead of my competitor. <laughs> <laughs> I did not come to play. I trust you. That's my girl talking. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Korean man brought this for you. What's the meaning of this? Oh, this? <sighs> My prince. It means I'm two weeks pregnant for you. out of your senses. Me? No. I'm saying, my prince, in fact, if there's anyone that is out of your senses or with a little dash of amnesia, that would be you. Because the last thing I remember is you mourning in ecstasy as you dig in and out of me like a man in such a forbidden treasure. Shut up! Shut up! Listen to me, you must get rid of that thing in your stomach. I'm a married man for God's sake. Oh my friends, please don't even go there. You're married? To who? To a husband snatcher? Huh? Or that refurbished village rascal? Listen, my prince, I don't even want to start imagining what you did to seduce you and take you away from me. I don't care about that because there's a latest development. Yes, a news flash. Call it AZ has come to the royal house of the Enabili to take a rightful position. So you, my prince, deal with it. What is 
going on here? Nothing. Okay. Slight issue. Don't worry about that, psycho. I'll take care. Troubling my husband that he can't even share with his wife. What could be the content of that letter? So, how did he react when he broke the news to me? Oh, Queen Mother. His reaction was beyond shock. And I think he is still trying to comprehend the reality of the whole situation. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Now you get ready to admit yourself into the position of being one Abuja's wife. Whether first or second wife, you're his wife. And there is nothing he will do about it. Mm -hmm. Mother, I know this is the plan you have for my brother, but it will never work. And you better get rid of that pregnancy, or you have me to contend with. Because I'm very sure that my brother is not responsible for that nonsense you are carrying. Home break. Anyway, don't mind him. By the time I get the king involved, he will have no option but to calm down. He's just blabbing, my dear. I know. So, I can't wait. <coughs> You cannot continue doing this to yourself. The more you drink, the more you damage your body system. Mom, you orchestrated all this. I mean, what did I do to you to deserve this? What? Tell me. You know I don't, I don't love Colette. Yet you forced her on me. Why? I was not the one that took her to your room to sleep with her the last time you did. Oh Christ, for God's sake, mother, I was drunk. And you knew I was drunk. That's why you set me up. Don't be ridiculous, Prince. You did it yourself. And you have to take responsibilities for your actions. Call it. It's a better choice. Yes. Call it. Call it.
No, 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 It's not a matter of love. That girl is pregnant for the brother. Father, I don't think Mabati is responsible for that girl's pregnancy. Did he not accept to sleep with her recently? Oh. Answer me! <laughs> that he was drunk. Hmm. He was drunk and even, even mother can attest to that. Please. But, but it was just once. He told me. He did told me once. Shut up! One said he was drunk. Two, he did it probably once. He told me. He allowed his third leg to control him. And you are here talking. And that is a complete assessment. That girl is pregnant for your brother and he had better start making plans to marry her. No member of the royal family will be found outside the royal fold. Not even for the hackneyed slightest excuse of infidelity. As long as I am the king of this kingdom, he stands the chance of losing the throne if he does not marry that girl. I'm sorry. Do you know how it happened? Just a night. Just a night I was out of this palace and. Betrayed our marriage vows. What about you? Is this the love you promised me? I'm sorry. I was drunk. I was drunk. I can't even Don't tell me about you being drunk. You got drunk with wine and then, and then you did what? You, you broke our marriage vows. Let me ask you, what about you? What if I get drunk someday and decide to break our marriage vows? What happens? But let me make this clear to you. I will get drunk in hatred and vengeance. And I will crumble this royal family. For bringing the shame and agony to me. Make sure peace and news from this family. He hasn't got to Don't tell me that! Don't tell me he hasn't got into that! How could, How could you? I understand how you feel, <clears throat> but tradition must prevail.
or by emotions. You will be appearing before the LSC Council tomorrow to establish that you have accepted to my conduct as a second wife. Oh. I know it's not going to be an easy decision, especially now that uh, your wife is happy with China. Of course! I don't even love Colette. I'm a wife. Listen, son. I did everything to get this throne that I sit on today. And you must do everything possible to maintain it. A lot of eyes are scheming to take it from us. We must not give them any moral right to succeed. I don't understand, Father. Getting married to call it or not, well, what does it have to do with people taking the throne from us? You get it. It depends on how you see these things. As a king, you can marry as many wives as you please and build a very large family rather than being stumped as an irresponsible man who goes about impregnating women and doing them off. Think about it. What kind of tradition will, will, will force a woman on a, on a man? Come on now. Huh? I mean, we're in a modern world right now. These things can't just apply. We're in a modern world, but we must respect tradition. What will I now say? Do you want to be against the gods? Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. If this kind of situation befell your son, your own son, would you accept it? Circumstances surrounding Colette's pregnancy. I understand how the prince feels. I think there's something very important we must do. You know, we are in the modern world. So, no one has the gender of a child. Sounds can to know the gender of the baby's terminal kind. Your Majesty, don't forget our utmost interest is on all as a male child.
you have a very strong point there, actually. I just have it. I'm just strong. Your advice we go a long way in helping this way, family. I appreciate it. My prince, you should try to make yourself comfortable because I'm sleeping here tonight. You don't want to sit up all night. Oh. Honey, what is this thing doing here? Hello? Did you just... Did, did you just refer to me as a thing? <laughs> now you listen, you uncultured lizard. I'm going into the bathroom to have a shower, a cool shower. By the time I get out here, I don't want to see either you or your shadow around this room. Take it out. <laughs> oh, you, no, you, wait up. Hmm? Let me break this down for you. You see, the person that you, a refurbished village rascal, calls a thing, is actually the one pregnant with the male child the most valuable seed of the Umukwelari kingdom. Smart. That's fine. Let me meet you here when I come back. No problem. I shall feel, feel comfortable. My prince, your son needs your attention. You know, a little cuddling hmm, would do us a lot of good. So, Oh, if I see you put your filthy hands on him again, I will deal with you. Please, watch it. Are you sick or something? No, watch it. Don't, watch don't what? Fight. Watch it. Watch what? Don't don't even fight. start. I shouldn't start what? I have had enough of you, honey. Don't mm. even start. Actually, you didn't tell her where you picked me up from. Oh, from the ghettos. You didn't tell her where you picked me up from the ghettos. I know that. Deal with you. Oh, really? I will no. deal with you. Mm. See, don't put your filthy hands on him. Mm. I will hit you. I will. Punch your don't face. Don't fight. No. I will punch your if face. I, I don't care that you're pregnant. See, I can still see, bust you some karate you. move. Ah. That, that is wrong with you. I, 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 I will punch you up. I will punch your face. I will punch your face. What is it? I want to ask you something. What is it? Why are you constantly tormenting him about you? He cannot even have a good sleep in his own room. Mother, this is not fair. This is not fair. Why would you brought all the problems upon himself? Just last night, his two wives were fighting over who will sleep with him on the same bed. Just tell me, what has he done to deserve this? Like I said, my son, he brought all these problems upon himself. Calm down. Very soon it will be your turn. And I will help you choose wisely. I'm not calming down, mother. Don't tell me to calm down. And please, when it gets to my turn, don't choose for me. You want to make the same mistake about that? Don't choose for me, mother. <laughs> my brother is not the one making mistakes. You are the one causing all this. I am not the one. He is the one. That is why I said, when it gets to your turn, I will help you choose wisely, so that you won't make the same mistake your brother made. But I don't choose for me. Don't. You want to make mistake? Okay. Darling, please calm down so the table is ready. Than this um, 
poison I see on this table, right? <laughs> Okay, Chuku. Okay, Chuku. Since that girl got married to the Roya family, it has always been one problem after the other. Imagine such a pretty girl. Who knows if she's not a marine agent sent to destroy Roya family? Kusina, <laughs> stop. Don't go there. You see, what baffles me the more is the way that, 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 that girl behaves while in the presence of the prince. You need to be there to see how she suddenly turn, turns to an ice block, cold ice block, when the prince was talking to her. No, I don't believe it, Papa. That can really happen if a woman is under a stronghold of love, Papa. Hey, you. Hey, look at this boy. Talking about love. He lo if she really loves the royal family, as you say, that much, why is it that she's doing things that affects the family? Negatively. Why? Papa, listen. That can only happen if Obanje's spirit is behind it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Did you see Obanje's spirit? Obanje's spirit, I'm telling you. Hey. But, whether Obanje's spirit or not, I only pray that the royal war does not affect the head of the king the more. Because the way I'm seeing that man, okay, Chuku, the way I'm seeing him, he's going down gradually by the day. Yes! <laughs> Papa, see, if that happened, I'm afraid. But I pray nothing will happen to you. I pray. Oh. I pray. I really pray that nothing happens to our king. That is my own. Nothing, nothing will happen to the king. It's all right. Let's hope so. Just pray nothing happens to my father. Because if anything happens to him, you will see the other side of me you've oh, never seen before. Please control your skittle. Thank you. 
I'm very sorry for everything that has been happened. Go since my making, please. I don't feel like talking to you. Just let me. But I've said I'm sorry. And I said I don't feel like talking to you. Please. Leave me alone. Don't be like this now. I'm begging you. I'm truly sorry. You know how much I love you. You know how much I love the king, your father. Father wants you to make food for him. Oh, that, that's fine. I, I'll do it with all pleasure. So far, it makes the king feel better. Let me just head to the kitchen. Do you want something to thought I was going to give birth to a female child. But God has disgraced that. I gave birth to a son. A bouncing baby boy. You see all the wrestling I have wrestled with my co-wife. See how God has vindicated me. And for that reason, my love, I want us to call our son, Naftali. Alright, Father. Anything you want. <laughs> Soon the naming ceremony will come. I will call him after. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Meanwhile, let me check on my son. Hmm? Okay, now it's always about you and this boy. What's <laughs> up? I don't get it. <laughs> I'll soon be back. Yes. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I'm very sure you are not blind to notice that he is not here. Anyway, I'll save you the stress. He stepped out to buy serious for my baby. I forgot. My son. The heir apparent to the throne of Umwak Baleri Kingdom. How does that sound? Well, when he comes back, tell him the doctor said he needs money to run another test on our father. He should make provision for that. Yeah, another money. I don't 
get it? What is with this series of tests? Is my husband supposed to run dry because you're trying to, to run a test on your father? Moreover, your father has even lived longer than my own father. Why do we need to spend so much money on him? Anyway, when he comes back, give him my message. It's high time you all understood that my husband will not run try because he's trying to treat your father or run some tests. <clears throat> well, uh, I don't know, this is what? what uh, well, yes, um, she just came in, you know how it is. Yeah, she actually came to check on me and the baby, but I told her he was sleeping, so oh. she said she'll come back later. That's all. Mm, that's all. Okay, yes. He's actually sleeping like a baby, that is. Oh, so it's just about our child, isn't it? So yeah, well, that's just about him, that's well. For now. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about some massage for my feet? You don't have a problem. <laughs> when I'm done, I'll come to the hands and I'll massage every other point you want me to. Okay, I'll just give this. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm, that feels good, actually. You don't have a problem. Mm. I'll massage every part of your body. <laughs> Even hidden places. Ah. Uh. Oh. So you finally came out. I thought you were the one babysitting your wife's baby. What about you? Shame on you. So you could not even bring out common 85,000 naira to pay for your father's medical test. Just because that's your wife objected to it. Hey. I don't blame you. I blame your father who made you a signature to his finances. 85,000 there. Yes. For father's... Nobody told me anything. Is father ill? You knew. Oh. Hi. didn't show up because that bitch of a wife has so manipulated you that all you do is babysit. I mean, she's virtually turned you into a robot. Anakin. Hi. Okay. Anakin. Nothing new, shameless boy. Are you surprised to see father is back? We have to source other means for money. Don't even have your time. Uh, how are you, father? I will be better if you people stop quarreling in my house. Of course you know me, Father. I'm a man of peace. Problem is always coming from mother and, and my sister here. I am disappointed in you. You couldn't even bring money for my lab tests. You didn't deem it fit to bring my grandchild to come and see me. No. Father, nobody well, told shut me. Up. Shut up. What is it this time? I heard voices. <clears throat> My love, please, please don't start. I beg you. These past few days have been quite trying for me. And how is that supposed to be my fault? Your parents and sisters will not allow you be just because they know you're not taking responsibility as the first son of this family. 
How is that my fault? So what do you want me to do? Well, they should understand that you now have responsibilities. A full family to take care of. Fine, whatever. I'll send my brother Uzonna to your place so he can bring your mother. Let her come and start her mugu. Your brother. Why can't you go yourself? Free me. Ah, please, just, just free me. I beg you. I'm handling too many things. So much on my mind right now. Let me not start driving and probably have an accident or something. I'll, I'll, I'll send him. He can handle it. It's not a problem. Where's the baby? He's upstairs. Let me go see him. Mama, but I don't understand. What about you told you that your daughter, your own daughter gave birth to a bouncing baby boy and you're sounding indifferent? It's, it's somehow now. Hmm. What do you want me to do? To dance? It's your daughter now. We are talking about your daughter here. Okay, I will dance. Oh, no, why? Hey, hey. <laughs> you know what you do, Mama. Anyway, Mama, the, the main reason why I'm here is to come and tell you. Uh, let's go to the palace for your daughter's Omugo. Go where? To Me? The go to the palace? Yes. I will not go. It is not possible. Why? Why, Mama? Oh, because it's not Mwabajo. Because Mwabajo didn't come here. Mama, you should know that Mwabajo is very busy. Eh? Mwabajo is busy now with your daughter and other things in the palace. It's still the same thing. It is no news that you people despise us. It did not start today. Let me tell you. I will give my daughter all the necessary support she needs in her omuga. But for me to step my feet on that royal house, are we not? Mama. Yes, go and tell Mabaju that I said so. You people should get her a nanny. Nanny? Yes. I have said it. Their family is troublesome and a team of disgruntled elements. I told my son not to marry that girl. But he will not listen. Now, just look at it. Her mother cannot even come here for Mungo. Evil people. Who Where is that one, Baji? You should come and hear. Who even wants her here? Mom, if I had my way, I would send Ebubi out of this house. What is she doing here? Ozona, God has punished your brother. God has covered him with nemesis. Now he is faced with the responsibility of being a babysitter. Hey, one boy, Hey! What is she? I don't really understand why two of you are getting yourselves worked up over this issue. Why? One so. boy is not complaining, is he? No, he's not. Let him be. Be gone. What is this one talking about? <laughs> On that uh, Igwe Nebe. Stop talking like that. You know the reason behind all this. Tell them to get you Nani. It's okay. Everything will normalize. Oh? Just calm down, you know. Okay. Oh. 
denken. Should be the one begging our son, eh? I'm a prince. Eh? I should be the one beating our son. Eh? What do you mean by that? Eh? Hmm? You should be happy that I even gave you the privilege of beating our son. That is what most men want. That is what you should be doing. And it's even different as you are a prince. It makes it better. So beat him very well. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Please clean him up properly. And you better stop complaining. Because if you keep complaining, then we'll have to get the services of a nanny. You know my mother has refused to come for Mugo. No. Just make sure you bait him properly. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Open his legs now. In between the tides, you can open it and then clean it up very well. You have to wash those places properly. Let me clean it very well. Mm. Uh -huh. Please clean him up properly. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> ah. oh, fine boy. Fine boy. Oh. Fine boy. Fine like his father. Finer than his mother. Fine like whose father? Me, no. Dry him up properly. Sorry, sorry. Please take it easy. See you. Okay. When I'm done with him, I can bathe you too. If you don't, if you want me to. You will bathe me. The wife complained <coughs> to me. She said that you are no longer taking care of her. That you don't even come near her anymore. And that you only concentrate on a booby, your first wife. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, Father, that's actually because I don't have a choice. Abube's mother has refused to come here for a mugo, so. The child is also my child, so I have to help her. There's nothing I can do about it. Then provide her a nanny. Yes, get her a nanny so that you can also take care of Kelt. A nanny? Yes, a nanny. Look, I am no longer getting healthier. And you must not allow me to see anything that will affect me psychologically. After all, Colette is also your wife. All right, Father. I've heard you. I'll try my best to get her in any as soon as possible. Colette, I hope you're fine. Yes, I'm fine. That is, if you get the nanny as quickly as possible. Because I'm also your wife and I deserve all the attention due a wife. No problem. Where do you think you're going? 
I want to take Colette out. Is that a problem? You want to take Colette out? Uh -huh. What you? I told you that your son, your son, just in case you did not hear me properly, I will repeat it. Your son is running temperature and you're standing here telling me you want to take Colette out. That is not possible. Our son. He's not just my son, he's also your son. And we've given him drugs. If you want me to buy more drugs, I'll buy. Hmm. I'll soon be back, okay? You don't want me to go out. Like, you really don't want me to go out. Show that girl that I'm coming from a family of warriors. Mother, take it easy. But this is not helping father's health now. Please. Don't talk to me. Your brother is the cause of all this. He was supposed to send that girl out of that house, but he refused. You have to understand that Abel Bay is my brother's wife, and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Oh, my queen. My prince. I don't think this is the right place for us to keep arguing over this matter. Besides, we are in the hospital and this won't even allow the king to get any better. I will deal with that girl. Bet me. Please, my queen. My prince. Doctor. Please, can I see you for a minute? Of course. Sorry. Sorry. Um. The king's ailment is getting critical. Hey. There are some questions I need an answer to. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Who and who cooks for him? I'll cook. Um, my mother. My brother's two wives occasionally, especially the first one. But I hope there's no problem. So you're saying he doesn't eat outside? No, 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 no. no. My father is very careful of what he eats. From the test conducted, your father has a colonial bleeding. Jesus. There's some silicon oxide particle found in his intestine. <sighs> and I'm sorry to say that has affected his kidney. Hey. 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 Jesus, doctor. Doctor. Going to do. We administer treatments, but God heals. <laughs> My prince, I would like you to quietly investigate because we need to know how that content got into his body while I go on with the treatments. Thank you very much. I need to rush to my office. You see it? You see where your cantankerous attitude has led us to? My father is lying critically ill in the hospital. Mom, I have to... Mom, what you please? Please! Don't even start with me. Don't get like that with me. Why are you making it sound like I pushed your father intentionally? Why? Please, just let me be. And why do I have this feeling that you're lying to me? Mm. Huh? Like you intentionally pushed my father. Why, why do I have that feeling? Yeah, right. Don't joke with me. Oh. Can you hear me? Don't joke with me. If what I'm thinking is true, you, 
You will see another side of me that you've never seen all your life. Believe me, I don't joke with my family. Know it now. This is just the beginning. You all will pay for everything you did to my family. Monsters. I know. Mm. I noticed something. Since we got married, you always garnish my father's food, especially. I mean, it, it's nice. It's nice. I like it. I also notice you make him eat separately a lot. I wonder why. Well, do I sense some jealousy here? No. <laughs> no. That no is standing. I'll tell you why I do that. I see him as my father right now. Okay. And so I put calcium in his food because it's good for older people. Mm. You don't need excess calcium. Mm. It's for him alone. Okay. So. Oh, my son. Father. Today you will be the king of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Please take it and be strong like myself. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> don't. I love your father enjoy his meal. Have yours. It's fine, Daddy. Have yours too. It's for you. I prepared it specially for you. So <laughs> Well, um, my king, this pepper soup is actually prepared by me, especially for you, my king. It's very nice. I'm sure you like it. <laughs> my daughter. My king. I am so happy for your transformation. Thank you. I believe and know that from now on, our family will return to the peace we used to know. I agree with you, Father. But I'm not happy because Mother is not saying anything. If I'm not happy, I won't be sitting here to eat with you all, knowing full well I should eat food. Um, well, this is my little way of showing how remorseful I am. 
and I promise to get better. My queen, I'm truly sorry. Please. It's okay. I dare look what you did. Thank you, my queen. Well, that's been said. Um, I think it's time for us to eat. So who do I serve first? Um, I'll go, my king. <laughs> mm. so. Something sinister is going on in this palace. And I must fish it out. I must fish it out. I'd like to have a word with you. I need you to help me talk to your brother. What is that about? You can see that I'm very heavy. In a little while, I will put to bed. I'm very weak these days. I can barely do anything on my own. I, I need a help, a nanny. I can't keep sharing Veronica with a bube. If you need assistance, we have maids and guards here. Call them. Veronica is even there. If you need Veronica's assistance, she will help you. Veronica, you stay away from you. Veronica is a boobies. I want my whole nanny. I need my nanny. Is okay, we'll that too much to ask for? Did, did you say kill joy? Me, kill joy. I need my nanny. I need my own nanny. You're still tidy in the room? I will soon be done, madam. You better be fast with her so that you can fix the baby. Okay, madam. Okay. Uh, madam. What? My son called me. He said he would like to visit me. That there's something very important we have to discuss. Is he sleeping over? Not at all. Back of the problem, no? Thank you, madam.
Your Highness, don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll be back later in the evening to check on you. Thank you very much, Doctor. Please, give me some minutes. Let me get something for you, at least for fear, okay? It's okay. You'll be fine, ma'am. Yes, I'm cleaning the room. What's that? It's calcium. It's, it belongs to my madam. What's that for? She said it is calcium and she uses it to cook sometimes. Let me have it. My brother won't budget today. No, I didn't need to know. I've lost my appetite. Oh, come on, my king. Don't be like that. You, you need to eat properly so you can take your drugs. He said he's not hungry. Let him be. Um, I want you to run a check with this in your lab. Okay. It's Kajman, my brother's wife here uses it to cook for father. Okay. okay. Um, yes, um, he's right, doctor. That's um, calcium. I actually add it to my father-in-law's meal. You know it's good for strong bones and blood circulation, right? Very correct. Uh, Master, please, can I have it? I know, doctor. I insist, run a check on this in your lab, okay? I want to see how rich it is in calcium. Okay, my prince. My prince, I need to go to the hospital. Your Highness. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, my king, you're sure you don't want the young porridge? You like it? He doesn't! Taste this food. I am not hungry. What kind of nonsense is this? Are you accusing me of foul play or what? It is very simple. It is very simple, it will be. Taste this food and do it now! And I said I am not hungry. What nonsense is this? Are you accusing me of foul play or something? See, it's very simple. It's very simple, little bit. Taste this food. Go ahead and do it. Do it now! Fine. You want me to eat the food, right? Yes. Okay, I will. What? I told you that I am not hungry. Do your worst. To bait the baby. Who asked you to give that container to the prince? Huh? Is that supposed to be part of your job? Or don't you know what it is to mind your business? And why, and why are you agitating so much over a bottle of calcium? Why? I wasn't talking to you. Really? No problem. Don't worry. Very soon you'll we'll talk to me. My prince. I would like to ask you for a favor. All right, go ahead. My son called me. <clears throat> he said he would like to visit me, that there is something important we have to discuss. He will not stay long. He will not sleep over. OK. Uh, I don't have a problem with that, as long as he will not distract you from your job. Hmm? It's OK. And make sure you tell my wife about it first. I have told her. Good. Thank Good. you, my prince. Ooh. 
Good afternoon. Afternoon, please. I'm here to see my mother. She's a maid in the palace. She's expecting me. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes so how are you? She messaged me. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank <Welcome>. you. <laughs> Mama. Morris, mama. <laughs> Morris. No, no. Hey. I said, let's go. No, no, no. Come, come. Let me go and introduce you to this majesty. Okay, okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Okay. You are looking very good. Mother. Mother, can you hear me? Hey, my daughter, what is it? Mother, these people have found out about the content I put in the king's food. How could you make such a mistake? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know how it happened. But you need to come fast. I need you to help me. I, I, I don't know how to go about this. It's okay. Just calm down. Don't worry. Relax. You will come out of it. Woman. Okay. Your Majesty, this is my son, Maurice. He is a businessman in Onicha. He has come to visit me. Good day, Your Majesty. What? Good day, my prince. Welcome, Good my day. son. Um, over. Your Majesty. <laughs> Go and take care of our visitor. Okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I'm highly honored to be in your presence. Oh. Yeah. Ife Buche. Oh my God. Maurice. Oh, what, are, what are you doing here? Do you know her? Do you know him? She is the wife of the prince. Did you say wife? You must be joking, mother. Maurice, are you out of your senses? I'm not out of my senses, mother. Mother, that is the same lady that I told you that went away with my 400,000 and my baby which she carries in her womb. You must be out of your senses. Oh, mother, you here you go again. I'm not out of my senses now. Mom. I must collect back my 400,000 and that baby she carries in her womb before I leave this palace. And that must happen today. Hmm. You can't do this to me, baby, please. You know how much I love you. You know how much I cherish you. You mean a word to me, please. Baby, you know you have everything, please. Don't do this to me, I beg of you. Baby, don't leave me here because I know I need because I do. You see, oh, I can't live without you. Baby, you're my ward. Maurice. Maurice. Listen, I know you love me. I do. And I love you too. I do, honestly. But love is not the question here, Maurice. I tell you all the times what my parents have been through because of us. How they've suffered to raise me and my siblings to this level. Maurice, I cannot marry a poor man to hurt my parents' problem. No! I, I, I need to move ahead in life. I need to move ahead in life. Oh, I hate that name. I hate it. I told you. Call me Colette. Let me know if that's the name causing me set back in life. Uh -uh. Baby, listen, eh? I know your parents are passing through a lot. Baby, please. Baby, listen. We can start more together, okay? We can start more together and roll it into something bigger. Please, just be patient with me. I beg of you. Oh, yeah. If I put you because you know, 
I cannot do without you. Don't call me that name, please. Don't, 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 don't my name is Alex. <laughs> Maurice. Maurice. Because I, I understand how you feel, and I feel for you too, honestly. But, you know, patience is not even a virtue that I came to this world with in the first place. I, I don't have that patience to wait for you. To wait for you to build an empire. I do not have it. I want an already made empire. Ah. Baby, I got nothing without you. Baby, please. Baby, I love you. Baby, I want you. Baby. If you leave me, I will die. Oh. You are dead already. Uh, you are dead. Any man without money is a dead man. Ah. If I want you. Uh, oh. If I want you. Oh. If I want you. I'm pregnant. And you know I'm very much afraid of having an abortion. Then baby, you come on. Then marry me. Marry me, let me make you happy. Baby, you know I love you. You know you're the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. Be my wife. Baby, let's build a home together. Let's get married. Maurice, you have two ears and they're for hearing. I have told you times with that number that I cannot marry you and I will not marry you. Take a good look at yourself. You can barely take care of yourself, let alone taking care of me and a child. I mean, where will we be staying? In this one room apartment? In this neighborhood? You expect me to bring up my child in this neighborhood? <laughs> No. Baby, mm. baby, listen, uh, baby, I've been able to save up to 400,000, okay? Sweetheart, we can actually start something with that. Let's build an empire with that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let's start something with 400,000. Please don't leave me. I love you, okay? <laughs> baby, I love you so much. <laughs> baby, I love you. Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be rude. And I don't mean to embarrass you, Maurice. I have told you, I cannot marry you. I have a rich man that I'm targeting. Hmm? I'm in love with him. And he says he loves me too. He is going to marry me. He will take care of me and all the children I intend to have in this life. And also extend some hands of gratitude towards my parents. So do you understand? I cannot be part of that poverty-stricken plan that you have. Count me out, please. Baby, what about the child? My child? The one you're carrying. What child? <laughs> Who is even talking about a child here? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm planning to move ahead with my life when you're talking about a child. Indeed. My love. My beloved. I brought this money so that we can use it to build our world together. If not for anything, baby, for the sake of the seed which I planted inside of you, please, I want you to have this money. Please don't go. I don't want to lose you, baby. Baby, I love you very much. Let's use this seed and start up something. Let's build an empire with it. Please. Please. Let's start up something with it.
That's exactly what happened, mother. Hmm. Yes. I didn't know I was going to find out this quickly. But I thank God I did. So, what do you intend to do now? Oh, mother. There is nothing else to do than to collect back my 400,000 and my baby which she carries in her womb. And I must do that today before I leave the palace. Oh. Morris, calm down. Let us undo this situation with caution. Mother, there is nothing to handle here. The only option that I have here is to take back my child and collect back the 400,000 that she stole from me. And I must do that today, Mother. That woman is carrying my blood and she's carrying my offspring. Mother, I'm not leaving this palace until I get back my child and my money. Mommy, see that you're with me. Or you're against me. <laughs> Now tell me, where do we start from fixing this? Is it my money or my child you're carrying in your womb? Thank you for coming. These people have found that container and they've sent it to the doctor to conduct a test on the specimen. How could you make such a mistake? I trusted it to be able to handle. Mama. It would be my eye. What are you saying? If you had come for the move, this thing wouldn't have happened. There it was the nanny. There was no way I could come. And you know it. I... Okay, it's okay, it's okay. How did the nanny do it? What did... Oh, my love. Ha! Ma! I was surprised you came. <laughs> I, I, I thought they said you you are never you will never come for your daughter's or move up. I changed my mind. Yes, uh, she changed <laughs> really? her mind. Yes. Wow. That's good. That's good, eh? Okay. Okay. Yeah, have fun. Eh? Mother and daughter. Okay. <laughs> Must be joking. You shattered my heart. You broke my heart into pieces. You killed the love that we shared. Listen, if Ebuche, I will deal with you. Listen, I will make sure you drink from the cauldron of shame. Oh, don't even start what you cannot finish. Besides, nobody would believe you. Really? And my name is Colette. Oh. Watch me, if Ebuche. You have a few minutes to make a decision. Let's go. Who is this young man? I ask you again, Colette. Who is he? How did you both meet? And what's going on between the both of you? I am talking to you. Every adult has a history. Anakin, that's one. It's a very long story. Malik Melo, what's that? Mapaka, what's that? Leave me alone. Eh? Over my dead body will I allow this to happen? Please. Malik me alone. Please, Maurice. Maurice, why are you being so stubborn? Calm down. Let us handle this 
issue in a soft manner. Mama, Mama, don't worry yourself. Mama, if you think I will leave my child and my 400,000 to that lady, or because she's married to the prince, then you must be joking, Mama. Hmm. Mama, I will not do it too. I must collect my child and my money before I leave this place. How can I allow a child that was formed through my own loins to go like that? It's not possible. Mama, that will not happen. Maurice, that girl can deny your paternity to that child. And there's nothing you can do about it. Mama, why are you sounding like this now? Have you forgotten about DNA test? Mama, as soon as the baby is born, we'll go for a DNA test. We'll go and check the paternity of the child. I cannot allow any child of mine that was formed through my loin to go a different way. Never! Young man. Can you repeat what you just said now? My prince, he was just talking to me alone. I said, Ifebuche used to be my girlfriend. She was pregnant with my child and she left with my child and my 400,000 naira. And I am here to collect that back. I'm not living here until I have accomplished my mission. Really? Maurice. Yes. Can you say this in presence of colleagues and my parents? I can't repeat it anywhere, any day, and any time. Follow me. Mama, I'm not living here today until I take my child and my money. Let's leave. My husband. Please, you need to eat and take your drops. Let me tell you, came to go to the kitchen and tell them to prepare your food, please. I am tired. My strength is leaving me. I'm not sure I will survive this. Oh. I'm practically living by the grace of God every day. You will survive it. By the grace of God. Mm. There is a revelation that this young man wants to make. Please give him audience. Are you sure of what you are saying, young man? What sort of question is that? Is it not obvious that this man is a lunatic? To fear, Kwa! My son is not a lunatic. Quiet, woman. God. Your Highness. Run to the guard's house. Tell them that one of them should go and call Prince Mwabaju and Prince Uzona for me. While another should fetch, call it immediately. Now go at once as you stay at the gate. Okay, Your Highness. Get to the gate. <clears throat> listen and listen good. This your cock and bull story had better be true. Or else I'll make sure you go to jail for slander and defamation of reputation. Hey, calm down, Lolo. Calm down. Huh? Hmm. Mama, you need to bring more food stuff. Eh? Mm -hmm. I 
need more food stuff. I need to prepare something good for my husband. I know. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I can do. Of course I know what you can do. Hi, my daughter. Um, so, so, so when, are, when are you coming? When are you coming with the food stuff? Maybe tomorrow. What time do you bring the food stuff? You know, you know how important it is. I have to take care of my husband. Thank you very much for that. If I lose them, you lose your life. Yes, my prince. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh, so, um, please get me a glass of water. A glass of water. <sighs> Presence immediately. The king? Okay, please tell him I'm coming. Immediately means right now. And he told me to make the use of force if he failed to obey. Do you know this young man? Answer the question. Please forgive me. Think what that is me. It's the devil. I did all I had to do to cover my shame. My prince, I loved you. I didn't want to lose you to another. That's why I did all I did. What is she talking about? Chai! Abomination! So, Colette, you have been deceiving us all this while. Hey! What, what's, what's going on? My prince, this lady here, Ife Buche, she ran away with my 400,000 naira. And the baby she's carrying in her womb is mine. The baby in her womb belongs to me. She said she cannot end up with a poor man like myself. That she has seen a rich man that wants to marry her. So she left me. Is it true? Speak, is it true? Yes, my prince. You're not responsible for my pregnancy. Maurice here is the, is the father of my unborn baby. My prince, I love you so much. I was threatened when I found out that you were going to get married to another. I had to do all I did so that you can stay with me. Queen Mon, I'm sorry. Please spare me, my king. Please spare me. Please, my son, I'm very sorry. I was loving the psychedelic girl by side because I wanted the best for you. Chai! Fake life have deceived me. How would I have known that she's a wolf in sheep clothing? I'm sorry. Hey! Colette. What a day of reckoning. 
You despised your daughter-in-law. Look at where it has landed you. Where is Ebube? Where is Ebube, my daughter-in-law? Please, I don't want to die. Of course you will die because you will definitely lose your job today. And you will die of hunger. What is the meaning of this? Greetings, you... my president. What? The king demands your presence at once. Then in that case, we all should go together. Why? Keep an eye on them. If you lose them, you will lose your life. That is the exact word of Prince Uzon now. It is better I take the both of you to him so that I'll be free. So just, just shut up. Keep quiet. My daughter, I am sorry for all the hatred I had towards you. I never knew Colette is such an evil woman. She imposed pregnancy on my son just because she wants to be a princess. My daughter, what a great injustice we have done to you. What a great dishonor. Please forgive my wife and forgive everybody. I am surprised that you can speak with such a sober tone. Mwalutu, what are you doing here? Are you surprised? Do you think I'm dead? You killed my husband and sent men to come and burn our house. But who can speak and it's come to pass when the Lord has not spoken? Oh, 
Onye kamga po Onye kenye remaka Ariri o Iro ajoka Ajobi ajoka Onwe royo kujoro Okwa kodim ma Diwe muna rimo Chukwi no kwa ya Chukwa
You want biscuit? In the mm, I don't know. Don't worry, I will buy biscuit for you. Oh? If I just sell wine, I will buy biscuit for you. Eat. Oh? Yes. Yes. Buy your sweet akamu. Since you have made up your mind to marry that boy in one version, there was something you must know. What is it? His father, Enebeli, who is now the king of Umar Ali, is responsible for your father's death. What? They did a business worth of 50 million naira with your father. I was pregnant for you then. The day they went to collect the money was the last day I saw your father. The next day, he sent some boys to come and bomb down our house, thinking that I was inside the house. But I escaped. God be merciful. Now you know the reason I never wanted you to marry for any of this family. But I, why didn't you tell me about it since? I never knew that you have anything to do with that family. Talk more of being pregnant for his son. As it stands now, I don't know what to do. Anything you decide, I will support you. avenge my father's death. How do you intend to do that? I have more reasons to marry Prince Wabuaju to get closer to the king. All I need is your support. What will be with you, my daughter? Oh, no, 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 I'm a 
sorry for your children. I'm a rock on your day. Man, I call it now. Oh, we're on your car. Oh, we're on your Hey, I got one for a new girl. Hey, baby. Hey, get up on me far away. Hey, my rock on your day. Oh, lo, lo, lo. Again, in a man. About what? Mother, my traditional marriage is very close. We can't allow King Enebeli to see you. If he does, then our plans will be futile. You are right, my daughter. What do we do? See what you will do. I will assume to be very sick. Then you will rush me to the hospital. I will be admitted in the hospital. After the whole ceremony, I will come back. <sighs> Mother, you are endowed with brain, beauty, and wisdom. <laughs> Stop crying. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Father, I am sorry, Mwalu, too. I was overconfident of myself and selfish too. Uh, is it true? Father, is it true? Did you did you really is it true? Some evidence is a fact. But the story is false. I still don't understand. Did you actually do did you kill her husband? I can see the houses, so maybe I'll go and come back later. No, not yet, no. Tell us your findings about the content that you Okay. These are no cash There are no cash mm -hmm. These are armful elements, like silicon dioxide and crystalline. Jesus. What? From where? Hey! For more indications, these are brokeable bots granted into powdered form. Jesus hey! Christ! Hey! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You have had a large intake of the substance, and that has caused the damage of your body system. Oh my God! Then why? Hey! Oh, tell me why you are evil. Why? Oh, don't tell me that I am evil. I am not. Your father is evil. He killed my father. And if given the chance, he would have killed my mom. What? She was pregnant. And you heartlessly wanted to eradicate a whole family. Oh. You're lucky I gave you just the content in that bottle. And that was because I loved you. I still do. Hey! Uh, uh, I, I, I am s sorry. All these are all my fault. <sighs> this is a cluster of proportional nemesis. My prince. I'm sorry. 
couldn't help but avenge the death of my father. I felt that was the only way he, he would rest in peace. I'm sorry. If I never 